Welcome back to the Land Rover Series 1 Club YouTube channel. Today we're going to take you around the Series 1 Land Rover and its four-wheel drive system and its controls and levers. I'm Kyle and this is Emrys and we're just going to demonstrate a few of the features of an early example which this one is. Series 1 80 inch, uh, this is a 1950 year model built in 1949. On this vehicle we've got what we describe as a freewheel gearbox system. It's a permanent four-wheel drive system. When we're on the power, the vehicle drives front and rear axles. When we come off the power, it goes into a two-wheel drive vehicle, so we have a freewheel system in the transfer box. To normal road driving, our red lever is forward, that's us in high range. When we get to our off-road situations where we need to uh, control a vehicle slower and use the torque of the engine more efficiently, we pull the lever back, which gives us our low range gearing. Okay. So we've got a plaque on the bulkhead as the original manufacturer gave you a bit of a guide for high, low range and neutral. This is a very good system. It gives us a, a very simple four wheel drive system that we don't need to think too much about. There's not a lot of forward planning required because we're always in four wheel drive. The drawback is when we decide to reverse up a hill. In reverse, unfortunately, only the rear axle is driven because the freewheel system is designed to lock up going forward. Think, think of a bicycle. You can all pedal a bicycle. When you're pedaling forwards, you propel along the floor. If you stop pedaling or try and back pedal, nothing happens. You just get that clicking noise. We've got essentially the same thing here, controlling the front axle from the gearbox. Luckily, uh, Rover thought a little bit about the freewheel system and we can actually lock the freewheel system. So if we need to reverse up a hill, when we're in low range, we can then pick up the little lever in the floor and when I pull that, little click and we've locked the front output permanently so the front and, front and rear axles are together, working together. So this is the setup we would use if we need to reverse up a slippery hill or if we're driving down a slippery hill when the vehicle is on overrun without that locked you would only have engine braking on the rear axle. But with it locked, we're now guaranteeing that we've got drive to front and rear axles. That's gonna maximize our control as we come down slippery hills. So as we said, this is an early system. The freewheel gearbox was only in production until the early part of the 1950s. After that point, they switched to the four by two select gearbox, which every series Land Rover has right up to the mid eighties. So this is an early freewheel system, but here we have a slightly later freewheel vehicle. Much the same operation underneath, but the freewheel operation is controlled by pushing down the yellow knob. So Emrys is going to jump in for us and just demonstrate what we do here. So just like the previous vehicle, the red knob controls high and low. When we're in low range, we can lock the freewheel system simply by pressing the yellow lever down. You'll see here that we've got a lovely period anti-rattle device with the, the bale of twine there. But we simply press this down and this locks the freewheel system. So it operates exactly like the ring pull. Uh, it's, it's just a more conventional looking four wheel drive system to, to the, the average person. It's quite an important point you, uh, you just mentioned there, Emis, that the, the lock only works on both the early and the late vehicle if low range is selected. So the red knob needs to be pulled back first and then either the ring or the yellow knob be pushed down. And it's on the instructions. We can see it on here. To engage four wheel drive in reverse, stop vehicle, depress yellow knob when in low range. So back on the lever and then down with the yellow knob. This is the more conventional four wheel drive system that we see on series Land Rovers. You can see we've still got the red and yellow knobs. But this works different to the freewheel system. This is actually a two wheel drive selectable four wheel drive system. And Carl's going to climb aboard and give us a demonstration. As Emra said, uh, we still have a yellow knob, we still have a red knob, but they're operating slightly differently. So, normal road driving, we've got two wheel drive driving the back axle, stop any transmission wind up and wearing out the tyres. However, if there is areas where grip is likely to be lost, but we don't necessarily need the low range, we can engage permanent four wheel drive by pushing the yellow knob down and it clicks and stays down. The only way to get that back up and to, make, and to come back to two wheel drive operation is to cycle the range box through low back to high range. So if you watch the yellow knob as I pull this back, the yellow knob will jump up. Only slightly. 
and then to go back to high range we push the red knob forward. One additional point of the system is that when operating low range it is automatically in permanent four wheel drive, we don't need to do anything with the yellow knob. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it informative of how we operate the levers on Series 1 Land Rovers. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel where we've got more videos and more coming up very soon.